May 24, 2012, my wife petitions for dissolution of marriage. Mm -hmm. You had me arrested on the 27th. Yes, I was arraigned on the 29th. Fooch. This was not a true and correct dissolution of marriage. Mm -hmm. I was not able to respond at the time that you served me because you arrested me at the same moment. You arrested me for the fraud, yes, of alleging that I had violated the protection order, yes, that did not have any notice or opportunity to be heard to myself. Then you decided to continue with the disillusion of marriage, knowing that it was fraudulent to start with. Now, I responded within the 90 days, Pooh. You allowed for my wife to motion for a default dissolution of marriage? Yes, knowing that it was fraudulent. It was not true and correct. Nothing was true and correct. And then after that, oh, oh, oh. You decided to set notice for a trial setting? Yes, a declaration, child support worksheets, which proposed parenting plan? Yes. Notice of hearing, and I did not receive any of the evidence that was a justification, yes, for disillusion of marriage. That was the justification, ouch, for the actual child support. You, as a court, never obligated any evidence. It was all inadequate, irrational. Mm -hmm. It was prejudicial. Oh, it was arbitrary. <laughs> How many individuals <laughs> in this nation, yes, don't get notice of court hearings and the actual documentation provided by the petitioner as justification? <laughs>